Hi, we've received a question on our Western Blotting Forum regarding quantitative Western Blotting applications. What is the difference between qualitative and quantitative Western Blotting? Hi, Anne-Marie. Could you explain Hello. this to us? Yeah, of course. Uh, qualitative Western Blotting, uh, when you perform that analysis, you're only interested in seeing the presence or the absence of a specific protein of interest, and you may roughly just want to check uh, the levels of the protein in your sample. But if you're more interested in, in quantitative, quantitative Western blotting, uh, then you would like to put a figure on, uh, on uh, for example, how much uh, the protein has changed over time or uh, how much protein you have in your sample. Hmm. Could, could you explain this a little further? Uh, yeah, I have uh, two examples. Mm -hmm. So first, uh, I have this uh, uh, qualitative uh, Western blotting uh, application uh, and I have two clones here in this um, result and one is overexpressed mm. and I just want to see that it's here and verify that it's in my sample so yeah looks okay. good it's overexpressed yeah and quantitative uh, Western blotting um, here's another application um, and here I have stimulated this protein with a growth hormone over mm -hmm. time and you can see here on the uh, signals that the signal has increased after 30 minutes, about 60%, and then it declines with about 25% for the, the rest of the, the experiment, two hours. Yeah? Okay. So that's quantitative Western blotting. All right. So qualitative Western blotting gives us a yes or no answer. Yes. Whereas quantitative Western blotting allows us to compare levels of protein expression in various samples. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I'm interested in obtaining quantitative data, what should I think about? Uh, well, you should use uh, highly sensitive uh, reagents, detection reagents, and also an advanced imaging technique. Mm -hmm. um, and it's important that the system can provide a broad linear dynamic range and that the detected signals are proportional to the protein amount. Okay. And it's also important to use uh, an imaging software uh, that allows you to remove the background of the signals. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, for quantitative applications, I should use a detection system with high sensitivity, a broad linear dynamic range, mm -hmm. and I should remember to remove the background from the signals in my calculations. Yeah. Is that all? No, it's not all. Uh, the most important thing is to draw the right conclusions of your experiment. Mm. So uh, then you need to normalize your proteins towards um, an internal standard that doesn't change over time or is affected by any treatments of any kind. And this internal standard can be a, a spike protein, it can be a housekeeping protein, or it can perform a, a, a total protein stain. Okay, so for accurate quantitative analysis, I have to normalize the data. Yeah, okay. exactly. Thank you very yeah. much, Anne-Marie. I hope we have shed some light on this. Good luck with the blots, and write us again if you have any other questions.